Hi, I'm Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric and the stator I have in front of you right now, this is a 1994 ZR580 EFI. And the reason I have this one in front of me here is we've got a, a different plug on it. It's a three plug, it's a triangular shape. The other plug on it is a four plug. This four plug which contains your yellow wires, uh, this plug here is what powers your uh, your gauges and your lights and your hand warmers and so forth and uh, I believe the fuel pump also runs off this uh, connection here. Our uh, third, or I'm sorry, our three plug here, this is the plug that goes to our CDI and this is what powers our spark plugs and so forth, the ignition. So our two ignition coils on here, we've got our high side and we've got our low side coil. The high side is a little bit larger here, low side is smaller. Our uh, low side here, spec on that is 450. High side is supposed to be 45 ohms. So as far as testing and checking this, I like to have the plugs in, a, in an orientation when I explain to people online and so forth. So for this one we'll go with a triangular shape with the male plug down and our two females on top here. So our male plug which is the color on that is green. You can always pull the sleeve up and look at the uh, colors of the wires and so forth um, is green. And then our uh, female up here is brown and then the top left female is black. So these two here, which is green to brown, green to brown is our low side coil, and that's supposed to be 450. And like I said, our uh, green to black here, that's our high side coil, and that's supposed to be 45. And then when you measure the two females in series, those are both coils in series, and that will uh, is supposed to give you roughly 490 to 500 ohms. So we go ahead and check this. Doesn't matter if it's a black or red lead on this because we're not checking uh, actual uh, voltage. So we check our high side and uh, make sure you get good connection with these. Sometimes you gotta wiggle them around a little or push a little harder with them so forth and so on. So we check our high side and getting roughly 398-99 ohms or what have you. Just about 400 ohms there. You can see the uh, ohm meter uh, change a little bit. So 400 ohms like that. That is telling you that your coil, your low side coil is going bad. It's causing intermittent issues uh, and so forth uh, on a used stator. You could possibly have a new stator rewound uh, roughly 400 ohms a little bit more and be okay put out enough voltage so our uh, high side here is supposed to be 45 ohms we check that we've got 46 so we know our high side coil is okay and once again this is our high side and this is our low side coil and when we check those in series which are the two um, which are the two female plugs here uh, we get uh, you know, like 347 or what have you. So, uh, so we know we definitely have an issue with uh, one of our coils on our stator here. The fun part about this stator is you can actually look at it and you can see the black burn mark right here on it already. And that black burn mark here on the low side means that uh, that coil is shorted out and it's on its way out and, and that's why we had our 390, uh, roughly 400 ohms. Uh, a sled that has this condition with the, the low side burning out on it like that, uh, either it starts very hard or if it starts, uh, doesn't idle very well. Uh, if you've got a good high side like this one does, uh, this particular sled uh, started hard, you know, it kind of bumbled and stumbled, but you know, if you held it wide open, it ran good, and that's because that high side coil was still good on it. Uh, and then conversely, uh, if you had a your bad high side but your low side was good sled would start pretty much okay uh, would run up let's say if you ran 8,000 rpms you'd run up to like 7 7500 and uh, it would go pretty good but it either wouldn't go past 7500 it would stumble bumble it would spit and miss and so forth and that tells you for the most part that's when your high side coil is going out so once again like I say this was a 94 uh, ZR 580 EFI and I showed this one because I had the three prong plug to it and I wanted to uh, to show that one being measured